Hey guys, this is Vishal. It's been a long time since my last post. Hope you're liking my tutorials. Okay, so this video is a third installment of a DWL language tutorial where I'll be covering transformation of the XML input data into Java JSON or XML format. I'll also talk about some of the operators in DWL language like filter, order by, group by, and I'll also cover the use cases of it. Moreover, I'll also show you how we can convert and format data elements using as operator. Okay, so this will be my XML data which I will take it as an input and I'll try to read some of its parameter like code, price, departure date, empty seats, etc. in a DWL uh, business logic and will try to convert it into either Java, JSON or XML format. So let's switch back to AnyPoint Studio and, and let's create a new flow for this. So the first element for our new flow will be HTTP connector. So I'll be pulling the HTTP connector in my flow. First, I'll rename this flow as XML transformer. Okay, I'll save it. Inside this HTTP connector, the connector configuration is already configured since it's taking the previous one inside the path i'll say transform xml i'll give a name as a transform xml and allowed method would be let's say post okay rest will be the same second component will be the same as we use earlier the transform message where we'll be writing our DWL logic. So I'll be pulling it and append to the HTTP. And I'll be adding a logger just to print out the payload after transformation so that my new stru flow structure will be completed. And inside message, I'll be just want to have payload printed that's it the flow is completed now inside transform message i'll go and enlarge it okay i make it big all right okay so, uh, we don't want this that's it okay go to the preview button there's nothing first i'll just remove this curly bracket and put payload since we do not have anything and it's by default output type with java that's it now i'll click on this create sample data i click on the sample data and here i'll be using an xml so i have this flight xml which has a flight details so i'll be using it as is just to preview so click on select click on ok now we have this flight xml over here this is acting as an input data which has a flight details and i'll try to convert it into my expected format so as of now the output type is java that's the reason it's showing me in a java format so let's and i'm not doing any kind of a dwl logic over here so just printing the payload so let's try to change the output type to JSON. It will show me the exact mirror image, but it's an XML to JSON format. Okay, if you keep it as an XML, it will give you the exact image over here. So let's go ahead first with the JSON since we are intended to that. And I'll be adding or reading some parameters out of this main xml input so so though i want to put this output under flight or say responses all right okay this is payload so the preview will be changing over here responses inside that will be seeing flights since it is their flights and inside the flights there are multiple tag of flight and I want to read all the tags of this flight as we discussed in the previous 
a video in order to read all flight tags we'll have to use star operator so the second option so the moment i put it i'll be able to read all the tags all the flight tags now i want to iterate over this in order to read these each data elements from the flight tag so i'll be using map operator so map and opening the curly braces so the initial structure is created now let's go ahead with the another tag i'm creating for this say flight response something like this okay and inside that i'll be writing my logic okay simultaneously preview is changing now first i want to pull the code so i would say code and before that i want to put index just to have so as you know in order to read index we'll have to use double up double dollar so this will give you the index of that particular tag and then i want to you read code for that we'll have to use single dollar and we'll be able to read the code so the first option i'm selecting it then i want to read price so i will say price then dollar dot price okay then let's say i want to use departure date i want to read it so i just name it as a depart date and then dollar dot again departure date similarly let's pull up the empty seats the available empty seats so same empty seats and at the last i want to use and read entire plane object so that's it so this is the structure i want to read from the original xml input into json all right now as you can see the price value over here is taking as a string data it may not necessary that you will read price element or any numeric element all the time in a string format sometimes you may need it in a other format like numeric integer format double format or float format so let's see how we can convert that string format into the number format so dwl provide one operator which we can use to convert that is as operator and then followed by colon and number number is a kind of a type in dwl or mule which says this price is i'm taking it as a number so the type of this price is converted into number so in the preview you can see it's no longer string value so it's a numeric value okay now since the type is a number but we don't know what type of a class java class underneath it is being used by mu so if you want to give a custom class saying that i want to use prices as double or float then you have to add one more expression over here inside a parenthesis saying that class and inside a double quote i would say java dot lang dot double so it will take it as a double value all right now if i change the output type to java now inside here i will go inside the flight response here you will be able to see that the type of the price is double and now it's showing with the precision value so here we can say the price type has been changed to double so again i'll go back to json format now 
here you can see the departure date what we are using or we are pulling is the same as a XML input which has a two components one is a time component and one is a date component but I don't want a time component I want to exclude the time component so here I have to say DW that I'm using this departure date as just a date so again I'll be using as operator followed by colon and date that means I'm saying it that I don't want to use the time so just exclude it and I want to use it as a date type so here as you can see the values of the depart date is being changed to date so we are excluding the time component now on top of it I want to format it into the another one so let's say how we can do again I want to format and use it in the string type so I would say as again colon string inside curly parenthesis I would say format and here I'll give dd m y y y y now I'm saying change the date format into type string type on top of it format the date structure in dd m m m y y y y so accordingly my date has been changed now here you can see it's printing 20 jan 2016 so the month has been taken as a alphabetical in jan fave and all similar to that i want to use empty seat again as a number so i'll change it to number this time i'm not going to use any class by default it use number type as an integer all right so this is how we can use the as operator now this map has been compiled we are getting the output but we have some flight tags which has empty seats as zero so i want to exclude that basically i want to filter the tags which has empty seats less than or equal to zero so how will i do that so i'll be using a second operator inside a dwl called filter so i'll use filter i'm using it after this map so inside the filter i'll be saying filter when now i'll be using this compile data so flight response dot empty seat so i just copy out of this greater than zero so it will only show you the flight tags which has empty seats greater than zero now you can see the zero one has been removed right now i want to order this response order based on the price value so again i'll be adding order by operator similar to this i'll be using flight my bad flight response dot price all right now inside the preview you can see the minimum value of the price the, basically it has been ordered based on the price in an ascending order so please keep one thing in mind that the order by operator in dwl always do ordering in ascending order there is no way you can do it in a descending using by appending some like minus one or zero or something in order to do that we'll have to follow the different structure all right now the last operator i'll be talking over here is a group by let's say i want to group these output against code okay so i'll be using a group by operator similar to the last one i'll just copy the expression from here and rather than price i'll be using code so now you can see 
the flight tags has been mapped against the code so whichever flight tags has the same code will be mapped against this value so group by will return you in the form of key and value so as of now i don't want to use group by so i just show i just wanted to use it just to show you so i'm commenting it so this will be my final json format or json data i want to use now let's say what will happen if i change it to xml so i want to see what will i get in xml since it gives me one error says cannot cause array to object basically what it's saying that i it's saying you have to wrap it this code into an into a legitimate parenthesis so inside this i'll just copy this code from here and put it in this form now you can see i'm getting it into the XML form. So this way we can make any changes from XML input and transform it into either Java, JSON or XML format. Now let's go back to the main structure of our JSON. I just remove it and change the application output type to Java, uh, my bad JSON. And then let's head the request from the postman. okay so before that let me start my server so i go to this data view tutorial click on write run as mule application so this will start my app uh, this will start my application Alright, so application is deployed. Now let's go back to Postman and hit the request. So okay, here I am in Postman. The request path what we have given is a transform XML and my I'm passing the XML input. So this is the XML input of flight details. It's a post request. So I click on send. So when I click on send, I should be able to see result in JSON format or the response in JSON format. So I hit send, it takes a little bit of time and get me the transform output. So here we can see it's getting the transform output the way we have written the logic. Ordering based on the price, filtering based on the empty seats and all. So this is how you can use the DWL either to transform any kind of the input data you are getting into the either XML, JSON or Java format. Thank you for watching.